Hello, today we are going to learn how to locate the Feuerbach point of any given triangle ABC. Feuerbach's theorem states that the 9-point circle is tangent to the three X circles of the given triangle ABC as well as its in-circle. The tangent point between the in-circle and the 9-point circle is known as Feuerbach's point, seen here in a red dot. This is the point that we want to locate today. So starting with the given triangle ABC and its three X circles, which we only show to demonstrate graphically that Feuerbach's theorem works. The first thing we are going to do is to draw the nine point circle of the given triangle ABC. To do this, we start by working out the perpendicular bisector of the three sides in order to locate their midpoints, X, Y, and Z. So to start off, working out the perpendicular bisector of the side BA, sending a compass to a radius slightly larger than half the length of the side BA, we're going to describe an arc to the right and to the left, as shown here. And now, with the same radius, setting our compass on point A, we scribe another two arcs, cutting our previously scribed arcs, as shown here. And now, with a straight line, we join the two intersections, obtaining the midpoint of the side BA or AB at a midpoint, which we will call X. And now, we were going to do the same process with the side BC. So again, setting the compass to a radius slightly larger than half the length of the base BC. We scribe an arc above and below the line. And again, with the same radius, setting the compass on vertex C. We scribe an arc above and below the line, cutting our previously drawn arcs at two points. And again, we will join these two intersections with a straight line, obtaining the midpoint of the line segment BC, which we will call Y. And now we repeat this process again on the third side of our tri given triangle, ABC. So again, setting our compass to a radius slightly longer than half the length of the line segment AC. We scribe an arc above and below the line. And again, with the same radius, setting the compass on point A, we scribe another two arcs above and below, intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And now, with a straight line, we join these intersections, where it cuts the line segment AC at the midpoint, which we will call Z. So now that we have located the midpoints X, Y, and Z, we will join them to form a triangle, which is called the medial or midpoint triangle. So the next step is to find the nine point center N of the given triangle ABC, which is the circumcenter of the medial triangle X, Y, and Z that we have just drawn. So to find this point N, we have to work out the perpendicular bisectors of two of its sides, XZ and YZ. So following the same process as before, setting the compass slightly longer than half the length of XZ, we scribe an arc above and below the line, and now with the same radius, setting our compass on Z, we scribe another two arcs above and below the line, intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And now joining these two intersections with a straight line, we will find the perpendicular bisector of the side XZ. And now we're going to repeat the same process with the side YZ.
and where these two perpendicular bisectors intersect each other will be the point N of the nine of the nine point center which we want. This can be seen here where they intersect, we will call this point N. So now setting our compass on N and with a radius NZ, we draw a circle in a thicker line, which is the nine point circle of the given triangle ABC. And we will obtain three new points, U, V and W. These points are the perpendicular feet or bases of the sides of the triangle. So to continue, we are going to locate the center point of the in-circle, also known as the in-center of the triangle. The in-center is located at the intersection of the three internal angular bisectors, but because we have a lot of marks and arcs inside the triangle already in this drawing, we are going to work out the external angular bisectors instead of the internal ones, just so that we have more space to work with on the drawing. So to obtain the external bisectors, we start by setting our compass on point B and with a random radius, we draw an arc obtaining two new points, which are located on the elongations of side AB and side BC. And now setting your compass to the same radius and setting it on the, these two previously described points, we scribe two more arcs below, which cut each other at a third point as can be seen here. So now that we join this third point to vertex B and elongate it as shown, obtaining the first angular bisector. And now we are going to repeat this process on vertex C. So setting the compass on vertex C and to our random radius, we scribe an arc, which cuts the elongation of side BC and side AC at two points and now with the same radius and setting our compass on these two new points we scribe two arcs and where these arcs intersect we will join it to vertex C and elongate it as before obtaining the angular bisector Where these two angular bisectors intersect is going to be the in-center point I, as shown here in the video with a red dot. Now, from the in-center point I, we draw a perpendicular vertical line until it cuts the base of the triangle BC at a tangent point of the in-circle. And finally, we set the compass on point I and with a radius I to the previous tangent point, we draw the in-circle in a thicker line, as can be seen here. So now that we have the two circles, the nine-point circle and the in-circle, we're going to draw a line from the center point N through the center point I and elongate it until it cuts the circumference of both circles at the same tangent point, which is known as Feuerbach's point F, as can be seen here in a red dot. So, I hope that this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you.